Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I had a request to do a shake tutorial. I'm just gonna do a pretty simple shake, nothing like too hard. Okay, so what you wanna do is start off with clicking the plus in the top right hand corner and selecting your video format and I'm just gonna select the square. So now you're gonna click select song and you're gonna click on videos and make sure your audio is saved in your camera roll. Okay, so I'm choosing this audio. Once you have your audio, you wanna make sure to click set end right here for where you want the audio to end and set start right here for where you want the audio to start. I already clicked set end and stuff, so this is what it sounds like. So after you have your audio set up and how much of the audio you're gonna use, you're going to click make video right here in the bottom. Okay, so now you're going to import your pictures into your edit. And by that, I mean you have to click import photo and hide your pictures in your camera roll. Okay, so once you have your picture picked out, you're gonna click next in the top right hand corner. And you're gonna set your length of your first picture by clicking set length to where you want the picture to end in your audio. Okay, so once you have that figured out, you're gonna click import photo at the bottom right here. And you have your first picture imported. So now you're gonna do your second picture and you can keep doing that until you have all your pictures in your audio, but for now I'm just doing two pictures. So you're gonna click add and import photo again. Okay, you have your second picture and you're going to click next and you're gonna do the exact same thing you did for your first picture and you're gonna set your length for how long you want your picture to be. Okay, so you're gonna click import photo again here at the bottom. And now you have your first two pictures imported. This is what mine looks like so far. Okay, so for the shake, I'm gonna be doing a zoom in for the first picture and a shake for the second picture. And if you don't know how to do a zoom in on your edit, I will have my zoom in transition tutorial linked below so you know how to do a zoom in and zoom out transition. But for now, I'm just gonna quickly do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my first picture. I have the zoom in for my first picture. This is what it looks like so far. So for the shake, you're going to make sure your white circle thing is on your second clip and you're going to click new multi-layer and you're going to click the box labeled one right here and your picture so now you're going to go to edit keyframes which is the first one right here and here you have your like whole setup thing i'm going to stick with a shake that zooms out what you're gonna do is you are going to drag your circle thing. I'm just gonna drag it a little further in the middle, like pretty much the middle. And I'm going to, right here, this little line, I'm going to click one up and one down. So one on the right of the line and one on the left of the line. So basically that just creates a line right here and that's basically just like a checkpoint in your edit. So right now, it nothing really changed, it's just a checkpoint. Okay, so you're gonna drag your white circle to the very first line, and I'm going to zoom in. So I'm gonna move this white circle, I'm gonna move it to the right, and I'm gonna move it to about, I'm just gonna do 140, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so right now, this is all it looks like. Okay, so of course that looks horrible, but we just started, so. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna drag your white circle to here, and you're gonna click on this box right here. So you're gonna click on this box, and you can either click on this path right here, 
or you can click on custom paths and you're going to create your own path if you're more advanced of an editor which if you were to do that it would look something like this Okay, mine looks like this, and you can basically just copy this right here to do a path. It doesn't cost any money, it's in multi-layer, but all you have to do is click on this square and click on, it would say custom right here. For me, since I already did it, it says edit, so you just click there, and it would show this. And, oh, how you do a custom thing is you move your, I'm probably gonna do like a video about this that would be way more in depth but just for now you would move your white circle to wherever you want it to be say so I want to move it there you would click this plus right here and it would create a circle and you could move that circle just like this but for now I'm just gonna leave it there and say you accidentally put a circle there that you don't want to be there you can click this again, this minus button, and it will take away that circle. So that's basically just a quick tutorial on how to do these paths, your custom paths. But yeah, this is what it looks like so far. Okay, so now for the shake. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag your white circle to your second line until that line is red. So you're going to... Basically, you're gonna just come over here and you're going to click this button one time up and this button one time down. And that's gonna create another checkpoint using the move, like this kinds of this kind of path. I know this makes no sense right now, but just do the one up, one down thing. And so now you're gonna move your white circle all the way back here. And so this is basically what you want your shake to look like. So I'm just gonna move mine up to the left i'm just gonna do that and a little bit less i'm just gonna do it to the left more so you can do whatever you want in your shake it's just gonna be what direction your shake is starting from you can copy exactly what i'm doing or you can just do whatever you want so you can move your obviously this does not this isn't gonna look good this is what it looks like right now okay so what you do next is you move your white circle to the second line again and you're gonna click on this box right here the one next to the word path and you're going to click on so either what you can do is you can go you can scroll all the way down here and you can click on i'm pretty sure it's this one but this is what it would look like if you did that so you can either do that one or which i think this is nicer if you want to click on the box and if you go to custom again this is harder but it would also look way better so for now i'm just gonna flip my phone so here i'm just gonna click i'm just gonna make my own custom path you can follow exactly what i do or you can just do the first path that i showed okay so this is exactly what my path looks like you can copy it exactly or you can just do the first one or you can just do the first one as i said so once you're done with doing your custom path you want to click the down arrow and you're all done with your second well you're almost all done with your second one so now this is what it looks like okay so once you're happy with that you're going to click back right here in the top left hand corner and you're not done yet you're not going to click create up here you're not going to do that you're going to click on mirror right here and you can select any one of these and what it's going to do is right here without mirror it would be all black it would look like that like around the edges but with mirror it would be filled in so it it's more smoother basically if that makes sense so i'm just going to stick with the first one but you can just do whichever one you prefer okay next you're going to click on color and you're going to scroll all the way down to tracking blur and what this is going to do is it's basically you can already tell it's just going to blur the picture 
So I'm just gonna, it starts in the middle, but you can just turn it down a little bit. I've gotten a lot of questions about whether you have to pay for this. Yes, you do have to pay for a tracking blur and you have to pay for multi-layer, but that's it unless you buy the whole pack, which is $20 for a, for a year. So anyways, you're gonna turn, I'm just turning my tracking blur down a little bit. Once you're done with your tracking blur, I'm gonna click the arrow right here, and you're gonna click create in the top right hand corner. So now you can preview it, and this is what it looks like so far. Okay, so once you're done with that, you, you wanna click done right here. And basically your whole transition shake thing is done. This is what it looks like. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you're confused, leave me some comments down below. I'm going to answer as many as I can. And thank you guys so much. Make sure to subscribe if you want more tutorials. I post once a week. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.